One of the most common side effects that we see is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. After we clear the pigment spots or we're trying to resurface the skin for deep acne scars, you get darker brown spots on your face. Now, why does it happen? Skin, after any injury has to heal, produces pigmentation. The skin has a layer of melanocytes. These are the pigment-producing cells. In response to injury, sometimes they overproduce pigmentation. It can be shallow, can be deep. It could be all over. It's also more common in darker skin individuals less common in lighter skin individuals. If we are doing deep acne scar treatment, we can either use the erbium laser or the carbon dioxide laser. Carbon dioxide laser produces a lot of heat. And in the process of producing heat, the risk of PIH goes up. In studies, when you really push for deep acne scars, it can go up to maybe 80%, which is a lot. The erbium, maybe about 20%, a lot less, but still pretty high. Now, for removing our pigmentation, we have the 1064 picosecond. It's gentle, maybe less than 1%. We've got a 532 nanometer nanosecond laser. In some studies, up to 20%. The picosecond 532 nanometer is much safer, between 3 to 5%. If you do get PIH, what can you do? In most instances, you just go back to a gentle laser, take it out gently, slowly. And in some cases, if you're doing acne scars, the patient has to accept the fact that there is a chance of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now, 20% is a little bit too high for me. So i rather use radio frequency. It's not zero. It's still 2-3%. But think about it. 2-3%, 20%, 80%, 80%, We can remove PIH in most instances. It's not from the lasers. It could be also from surgical scars, trauma. You fall down, you get a brown patch. And we always try to lighten this pigmentation. So the PIH from lasers is the same as trauma. Same treatment can be done.